Keeper's powerful new feature, Record Types, provides users the ability to create records of various template types, grouped into categories, each containing a unique collection of field types and functionality within the record. Examples of record types include logins, payment cards, bank accounts, health insurance, and many more. Additionally, custom record type templates can be created by Keeper administrators and tailored to the needs of the business, which I will cover later in this video. Now, when you create a new record, you will have the option to select a record type. In this example, I want to create a passport record. Click the Create New button, as you normally would, then select the record type from the drop-down menu. Enter a name for the record, and click Next. The new record detail pane now appears on the right side of your screen. Here you can enter the specific details that apply to this record. Just like when you previously created a new record, you have the option to add files or photos and a custom field. Custom fields, however, now have been enhanced with a number of templates to provide you with a simple, effective way to customize your records. If you are creating multiple custom fields, you can drag and drop them in your preferred order. Once you are finished creating your record, click Save. And finally, please note, the general record type is Keeper's legacy record version, and a newly created record can be converted between types using the drop-down menu in the Edit Record screen. Legacy records created prior to the launch of record types, however, cannot be converted to one of the new record type formats. There are several out-of-the-box record types available, such as secure notes, SSH keys, databases, and servers. Additionally, Keeper administrators can create custom record types that fit the needs of the organization. Custom types can be created for all users or users within specific roles. In order to create new custom record types, the user must be in an administrative role with the Manage Record Types in Vault permission activated. To activate this permission within the Admin Console, from the Roles tab, select the role, and beneath Administrative Permissions, hover your cursor over the gear icon to reveal it. From the list of permissions, ensure the Manage Record Types in Vault permission is activated. Once the permission is activated, the administrator can log into the Web Vault or Desktop app to create a record type. Now I will walk you through how to create and manage new types of records in the Web Vault. From your Vault, select Create New and Record. If you have more than one record type enabled, you will be presented with the drop down to select a record type. If you have the administrative permissions to create new record templates, you will be presented with the option at the top of the dropdown. Now you are either able to modify the new template based on an existing template, or you can start with a blank record and add the required fields, like I am here. Within this screen, you are able to define what fields will exist within this template. Add new fields by clicking the Insert Field button. You are able to add, remove, and reorder any field types you wish. All fields can have a custom label associated with them, and any field can be marked as a required field. Additionally, masking can be enabled on any non-password field, which will prevent the field values from being displayed by default. The visibility can be toggled on or off via the eyeball icon. Privacy screen and password complexity rules are also available for password fields. After all necessary fields have been added, you can reorder them via drag and drop. Click Publish to make it available to all users who have the record type enabled in their role policy enforcements. 
Admins also have the ability to manage record types by role. To add and remove record types from your users, log into the Keeper Admin Console and from the Roles tab, select a role, then click Enforcement Policies and visit the Record Types screen. From here, you can either turn on or off different record types on a role basis. By default, a role can use all record types. If a user is part of multiple roles, disabling a record type in any role will prevent the creation of those record types for the user. If all record types are disabled, the user will be unable to create records. If you would like to make a global change for all users, disable the record type in the default role.